right hello i want to make some more frames today i thought i'd make some square ones so i'm going to take a page out of here and i'm going to cover it i'm just going to take one that's not so nice oh, i quite like that one um i quite like that one actually but i think that's right i'm going to take that, that page out of here so make some more frames i might do two actually let's have a look that's quite nice that's quite nice oh actually they're all um let's do that one okay and i'm going to use postage stamps so gosh i've got many left i'll just get them to do some more i think i've got quite a few but I don't think they're going to last me so I haven't got a lot of time today, so it was one of those days where I thought, well, I'll do um, the collage and cut some frames, like we did last time, but let's do that, use that one first. And I'm going to use postage stamps. I've got loads of them, so I'm just going to stick them down. I thought they would make nice, um, you know, backdrops for frames and that, so... And I'm going to use gel medium and just get sticking if I can get it open. <laughs> so I'm going to do them sort of random, but I'm going to be facing that way because I'll sort of do the squares that way. Actually, it'd make nice specimen things too, but I just sort of, it's a way of getting using some of these stamps up i have a lot i was given a lot a long time ago and um, a lot are the same sort of size but i'm just going to collage collage with them and go from there it's going to be a little bit time consuming of course because they're small I quite like the ones with the paper around too. I'll just put you there. I don't know why I want you there, but you're going there. With gel medium, you have got to make sure there's plenty underneath. Oh, some of these are quite old, actually. Uh, this paper here it's very old but it uh, makes things look a bit grubby this one whatever it, book that came out of oh a nice australian one there so i'm gonna put you there Right, so I'll go ahead and do that, okay? Let's carry on right the way across. 
Right, so they're all done. So I've done the collage today and then I've cut out the frames and then what I'll do, I'll decorate some tomorrow and then this will be a couple of days worth, really, because of what I've done. Um, but there's the big frames, yep. Okay, which are great. Okay, so I've done three square ones. Um, then the middle of those I made again into some little, you know, that you can do um, specimen cards with them or whatever. Or it could be a little little frame as well with a window one there. I've picked up the wrong circle punch when I've done that one, but it's okay. I can, I will use it. Um, then these are all leftover bits, actually, all these. Um, that's some Tim Holtz frames as specimen cards, okay, and I just double the whole it i'll turn it around and then do the say proper window just those this is just one i've got off amazon um i cut it twice and then that goes in there for the back yeah and then sometimes i'll use that for something else so it's that one um then i done one of these photo frame there so, and some tags, these I've got backs for, I, again, I do it twice, okay, and I will glue them together, sometimes I will stitch along there, okay, if I put acetate there, alright, but they can go together with something in the window, they can look quite good, so I've got two of those, then I've got this old bit here, which I actually quite like, so just put a circle in it, and I quite like that it's uneven. So, yeah, I left it as is because that could make a nice frame for something. Then a tiny bit at the side. These are all the cutout bits. So they could be made into paperclip embellishments. Anything like that. Or even little tags. But they're great. They're definitely little tag look. These are lovely. Um, that's a little tag I've already made into a real old bit. Lots of circles. That's that other one, fluted edge. That's out, of the, um, that's out of that bit there. So again, those could be made into little, little tags for a dangle. That's a middle bit. And these two, I've got a little die. Oh, I had, I've had this years and I love it. So I couldn't even tell you where I got it from. No idea. Might have been Amazon. I don't know. But I've had it a few years. But I love it. And I back, again, I cut some out in black. And I back them like that and then put something in the window. I have used them before in some of my videos. And these are little taggy bits. I managed to cut out the last bit. And then two those that could be made into buttons <laughs> so yes that was quite a lot out of those two sheets and it would they they're not a4 <clears throat> i'm not sure what size they are so that was quite a lot let's have a look definitely not a4 so they are nine and three quarters by six and a half yeah so use two of those and cut all those bits out and they're brilliant love them i will put a video what i'll do <clears throat> um it might be a picture of of them i can't remember anyway yeah so i've got a whole pile there to play around with two not tomorrow because i'm not in the studio tomorrow i'm off to my sister's because i go every tuesday so now I used to go a fortnight, but we go every week now because we seem to um, bounce ideas off each other and we like working together. So okay, right. I've done a I've done a few up already, and um, just to show you because I was working on sort of like some sorry I put my head down there um, some acetate. I was um, playing around on the computer. So these ones I've already got in my shop. Um, I think it's under acetate. Um, there might even be a freebie 
somewhere on the Facebook group. I'll have to try and find it. But um, yeah, these fit quite well, actually. These ones. The Tim Holtz thing here. So they fit there, lovely. Okay, so there's quite a few, there's quite a few of them on my on, on Etsy. I think it's under acetate something. I'll link link them below anyway. So I've done these. Okay, and I used the little um I cut it out so it was well of ah, there it is. It's sort of like that one. Okay, and I just cut it down a bit and then used it on here. So Okay, and then uh, other, there were some other little bits left over. I've left them as they are because they're quite nice, but there's some, there were some shorter bits, and I just used the die and cut out some of those because that's all you need, really, to go on there. So that was that one. So I'll do one of these up anyway. There, I'm calling this day 29. And, yeah, there's another one there. That was the one I said I quite liked because it was rough looking, if you know what I mean. There, I've left those two frames free, but I will do a frame up because the acetate fits the frame as well. And then I I use UV resin on these two that I've done. So, on there. Okay. So that's the ones I've done. So I'll do one up for you. Similar to doing all the... Um, wrestling cards or just <laughs> playing with acetate really I fancy playing with that right so I've got this one and my new acetate sheets are looking brilliant I've just printed them right. I printed mine on a laser but you can get printable acetate for your inkjet as well um, not sure you can see them I haven't, this isn't on Etsy yet, but they, hopefully they will be soon. Okay, I just need to do a few more, a couple more pages because I was just playing one night. So I only done those few and I thought I'd try them first. And then there's those ones and these ones fit these frames, which is great. Yeah, so, you know, you have to cut a bit off, but that's fine. As long as they're enough to glue it down, but they look okay in there. Yeah. And I'm hoping that might, they fit in there quite nicely, actually. Look at that. That's good. Or oh, they fit too, but the butterfly's a bit big for that, but they still look okay. Um, oh, yeah. It's these ones, I think, that was, I thought might look nice in here. Like that. Yeah. I said I didn't measure this. I was just hoping it would um, they would look okay and fitting in. Yep, they are great. So I'm looking forward to using those. Um, actually, I'll work on here because it might be easier to see. Let's do this one first. Oh, and I've got this one as well. That might look nice on that one. So, something like that. That could look quite nice. Don't have to get the whole thing in. I know you lose a bit, but they still fit. I wanted them this size. So because of fitting in the frames, I think it was these. Yeah, because look, to keep it flat. They look nice in there. I know you lose a bit off the bottom there, but that's okay. Yeah. Like I said, I was trying to get as many as I can on there, not just four. So I've got six and then they'd still fit in these big frames. I wouldn't go much bigger than that for, for the journals that we make. So, right, let's pick out. I'm going to pick this blue one because I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Right, this one here. I'm just going to go sort of down the middle, if you know what I mean, of that bit there. I just, I find I need a black border around it because I can't see to cut it. You know, I can take that away, but I am just can't see it. And they will go in there and then we cut off. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, 
Get it right way, Andrea. <laughs> Could have turned it around there. Okay, they actually they go a bit when they're on here, they go a bit blurry looking, but they're not when you pick them up. I need oh I need, do need to move a little bit, sorry folks. to get that right yep that's perfect so okay. and then i ink up this side as well now if you want to get the hole in both sides you run it through again just turn the die around and just do that side it's fine it works nicely and some people are better off using double-sided sticky tape with this the red one is good i know the red clear one but I'm all right with that glue, so. I don't know whether that would look better a bit lower, actually, looking at that. I tried to get this word in, but actually I think it would have looked better if that was a little bit lower. But never mind. And just think around. Can stitch around them if you want to. I have done that. Okay. And a little little thing here just okay. not sure whether I need all that so it's fine I was over my sister's on Tuesday. What day is it today? Thursday. Over my sister on Tuesdays. Tuesday, as I go every week. Then yesterday I was I thought, oh, I must get some, you know, book work done because we're coming up to the end of the month. So I sort of spent the day doing that. And then um, my son wanted help with some knitting. And I'm like, oh, no. So what I'm going to do, I'm just doing a couple of hours in here. And then I need to help him because he's doing a V-neck. And then this is his first garment, he's doing it. He chose a V-neck, didn't he? Pull over. So, yeah, great. Thank you. Well, <laughs> Brilliant myself. Well, my, my, what, both sisters are really good knitters. And one is actually a knitwear designer. And um, I'm like, oh, why aren't you here? <laughs> I mean, he's already done it once, but... The pattern didn't match up, so he's like, he's not reading his knitting properly yet. So I'm just going to get a help or just to watch him do it and say, right, okay. You know, he keeps unraveling it to the neck. And I thought, we've just picked up all those stitches, 160 of them. And now we've got to do it again because he said, nope, not, wasn't happy. <laughs> oh, no. Just make a hole there. And put a grommet in. That's that one. And then you can, you know, put some in there if you wanted. And also you can put, say, a grommet down this side. Yeah, what I would do on that, I would do the small hole, I think, because that's quite small. Maybe there. And then hang something from that one. I haven't got any little grommets with me at the moment, so I would just hang something off a, you know, what do you call it? <laughs> Jury finding thing. Oh, jump ring. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
<laughs> oh dear. Yeah, love it. I love them. Right, let's do a big frame because we haven't done one of them up at all. So that will be great. Right, you definitely need these ones. I don't think they would work. Let's have a look. No. It's these for the frames I've done. Oh, so I don't like it on there. I'm going for blue again. Yeah, do you know what I'm going to do this way? I'm going to actually stick that down and cut round it. I think that'll be the easiest. At least I'll get my placement right. Oops, placement right, won't I? So I've got good glue, it will come off. Shouldn't be there really when I'm doing this. Note to self, put it out of the way, Andrea. <clears throat> Okay, so it might leave it a little bit close to say do another one. Let me have a look. Just looking at that. But, oh no, no, we're all right. Look, oh, that's great. Oh, my spacing was pretty good then. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Now, I haven't got any um, black frames to coat these but I'm gonna I will stitch around this one and this might even go on a page anyway if you know what I mean so so I'm not worried about the back so much but I will stitch that down just in case it lifts it's not too bad when it's sandwiched between two pieces of card it seems to keep it together that might go on a page so i'm going to just leave it. i'm going to stitch around that and leave it if i need to do some frames i can you know out of some black card or something it's no problem but that one i'll stitch around in a minute okay i don't need to stitch around that one right. I'll put those over there for a minute that's that one right yeah oh this one here on that Let's do this one. Oh, that's really funny when you put it on that white. I think that looks right there. So I think the best way, Andrea, by the way, is definitely what I just done. So, so you're going to see that, aren't you? So I need to put this in there. Yeah, I forgot about that will be right actually behind it it might look funny no, i don't like that so it's gonna have to be white or oh, some oh i don't think i've got anything ready um look at that. don't know what this will look like myself but right mind it will go for it might look horrible folks but I am lucky. This will come off. Yeah, it looks alright with the look. I think it will. Okay. okay but i prefer it with nothing behind it um i might just coffee stain that a little bit if you know what i mean so let's just cut around that but anyway it's a you know we tried it so i didn't have anything ready you know a nice piece of 
watercolour paper or something like that might have been better. But like I say, I didn't have anything. So, Oops. I don't want to cut into that, Andrea. Is it a bit? Do you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to cut it off. <laughs> I'm going to use it like that. I think it looks better. I don't, I don't like that background at all. I'll use that for something else. Okay. That's great. And now I'm going to actually stitch around this one. Okay, because of what I've done. But I like them like that. That's didn't like it with the back on. I wouldn't use the acetate on them like that. I would use something else. Right, okay. And then we got this one. Did I cut another out? I didn't, so I won't use that. But I'll use one of these because I did cut some backs out of those. And I've got that one there as well to use. That's for my little ones. Um, what we got here? Another one there. Okay, what's going on there? Straight a minute. Yep. That is, that is the back. Oh well, it's going to have to do it now. Because <laughs> that is definitely, it should be that way. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll do on that one. Is, we'll just have to use two of those, but I haven't seen the other one. Oh, I just have to do that this way because that looks silly. Done it back to front, didn't I? I knew it would happen. <laughs> Let's see, cut that out first. <laughs> but you saw it. Oh, well, I hate things that are back to front. Oh, I could just roughly do that in a minute. Get that out of the way. <laughs> Well, it's going to be a nice one anyway. It'll be dust double sided that one, so I'm thinking that I can't read. <laughs> well, I can't read it anyway, but you know what I mean. It just looked like it was back to front, so I was right. Okay, and then let that dry, and then cut it out. I'll just give that a second or two. That anyway, so. I don't know quite what that is. It's not glue, a bit of paper. Okay. That one over there for now. Um, we've got this one and we've got these. All right, let's have a look. Let's see if the small ones fit. Nope, they don't, that's too much. Nope, I'll tell you what fits, might fit those, I'm hoping. I know they were. Oh, still too big. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, they will be all right. Right, it will be that way, that way. Which one? Which one? I quite like that. If 
first one I chose. Yeah, quite close together. I think I'd done them for something else at the time, so of course, and then I just, people say, oh, can I, you know, they, they want them to print out themselves, so I put them on Etsy, but I actually done them for something specific. I'd have to look at my video to find out what it actually was, because I can't remember. I shouldn't have cut that close, actually, to that. Hello, still be okay, I can still, yeah, glue it in. Yeah. Right, that's one. This one is, I think I struggled with this. I love the B ones. It was definitely done for a little bit big. Okay, I didn't really find any of the acetate. What I could do is some of the ones that I've, that I've got, you know, in my Etsy, I could do two to a page and make them smaller to fit these. So, but today, I'm not printing anymore today, so I'm going to just do up these. Let's have a look which looks best. Take some of that flour off and stick it onto acetate. You have to make sure it's covered though because because it's slightly, oh, the white might show. So I think that one looks nice on there. So I will just sort of cut that off because these leaves can be used. It's not wasted at all. <laughs> oh dear, my eyesight is failing, folks. <laughs> Shouldn't be. I think it's because you are at arm's length when you work under, you know, camera. Let's stick that there. I mean, you could back them as well, but I, um, you know, like put them back to back. But I thought, no, I want to make two out of them. <laughs> I was being stingy. <laughs> leave them alone for a minute right so just stitched around them put a little dangle on okay i really like them i mean they're quite strong colors but um sometimes you need that so and that's that little one i would put some i'll just make a slit in there and put some threads and all that there there and just the frame um where did my bit of paper go yeah, so it's nice. I'll show the other one as well. Oh, it's that way, I think. That's that one. Okay. 
Okay, so, and I've got other little bits left over as well. So they will all go together because you can make things out of these. Um, let's have a look. Like, for instance, say something like that, maybe. Um, no, that one. Because it's got a bit of blue on it. You could do that. Um, that could go there. And then say, ticket. Could go there. Come down a bit so you can see that. Like that. Yeah, I would have that up a bit higher as well. You know, when you do your page, but these are all quite thick, so you don't, you can, I might do something with a bit of paper like that, all right, and keep sort of just odd bits to go, because that all together makes quite a thick cluster, and um, not not keen on that, really. So, but yeah, I've got loads of little bits left, so they will, oh, I don't really want those, they will go in my little clear thing, because that's day 29 and 30 in here, okay. So, yeah, they will all go in there. I shall write that on. That's quite a few bits out of that. I enjoyed doing that. And I've got some little bits left over too. So, I might find a nice die shape or even make some more of these up because they were lovely. So, yeah, put them all in there. So, it's all little bits ready. Oh, that doesn't belong there. And even these could be made into a little tag or something surprising what you need sometimes there we go okay. i hope you enjoyed that then thank you very much bye